Hello, you biohazards. Benji Boy here. I'm coming to you once again as Ben. Because today, well, a while back, I should say, well, let's see, uh, was third. I want to say a few days ago, I hit my six months basically being on YouTube and all that. And you know, been in a hell of a six months being on here. You know, ups and downs of losing two subscribers uh, one subscriber getting two and recently i gained about six but my statistics told me five but who cares about those all that matters is you guys getting the videos to watch and all that be uh speaking of videos all the ones i have put up up to now to today basically in my cuphead recently um they were all from that bulk record i did so long ago i had additional videos done along with it to where basically um i decided to you know just upload those until i say it's time to do more recording so this video is my first recording within the month of that book what does that mean it means i got more ideas coming up to you coming to you guys. It means different games different ideas as you see the kind of things are different uh my cuphead like it says got a little bit of the M M a, uh, impossible challenge in it my warheads free candy which i like i said in the video that shit is potent uh but anywho um it's been like i said a all of a uh, six months you know ups and downs in my life too well actually it's been a hell of a year in my life to be honest um the reason why I say that is because it's been like a bunch of ups and downs, up and downs and all that here, like a roller coaster. Um had a girlfriend, lost a girlfriend, she became friends, she's still a friend. But we got into it a bit. Uh she we got kinda just went our separate ways a few weeks ago, was like, oh god, I'm in trouble. And now it's like everything's back to normal basically between that. Um gaining new friends as well, uh I gained some new friends, uh, I gained someone to, people to help me out, uh, like, get my name out there, basically, you know, uh, like, EJ Sloan, or in his Let's Play videos, uh, he goes, uh, Pyro, his, his Pyro Plays, I should say, his codename Pyro, <laughs> Pyro Plays, and all, Pyro Tech, actually, play with him on, well, actually, beat his stuff on Need for Speed, Speaking of stuff like Need for Speed and all, I am going to try to bring games from the PlayStation to on here by using the remote play, basically. So it's going to be a little difficult, though, because the PlayStation is like out in the living room and I'm in my bedroom recording doing recordings and all that. So I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate doing this by like have that on while in here but to where it doesn't like sketch sketch all over the place you know but yeah I'm trying to do that a lot of the changes are coming um i feel a couple of my videos like my cry of fear and my uh, cuphead you notice um i've been using transitions in them i've been i've been discovering a lot more editing stuff here lately guys so uh, the more i discover the better for me is it because that way I could actually make better videos for you guys to watch as I try and try. I know I look at my videos and the how many views aren't the greatest and all, but you know it is what it is. It's hard as YouTube is hard. I know this. I've been doing it for six months. I ain't stopping though. So yeah. I know you guys the last time you saw me though, by the way. I have more feature here. Well, I kind of wanted to trim up and look better. I'm trying to make things, everything look better for me. I'm trying to look like I'm a happy guy. Like, I'm normal. I'm trying to be coming back to my normal self. I has been like that for a while. There's a whole bunch of fiasco here at home, at work, and all that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jeez Louise, guys. Been a heck of a ride, though. But... YouTube is always there for me. Change it. I'm not. 
impressed by a lot of stuff though so far. This coming to an end year, like people there's been a lot of changes going on with people I know, people I meet. Um not a lot of people like change, but some changes are necessary, so I'm not going to change myself. I'm gonna say who I am. You guys know who I am. So I'm gonna change that anytime soon. Um so next season's around the corner, which means this laptop's use for YouTube is coming to an end. I want to, it needs a nice long relaxation break and everything. Oops, oops, my bad. <laughs> But yeah, get my PC built and everything would be better. Don't you worry. Uh, speaking of new things, there's a possibility that this desk might be returning back to where it was. As in the other room I had it in to where I started my recording basically because I might be losing my roommate. You know, I don't want to. I'm sorry. I'm trying to see stuff on my camera. My bad. But like I said, I'm might be losing my roommate to one of his friends. So like, eh, it is what it is. So to help him out to leave money, I don't say I don't see how he's not stealing money here, but making his choice. So I can pass my landlord on that one. He's talking to the wrong person, kind of on that. He's letting me know that's happening. So it was a good thing. That's crazy. Crazy about 2017. Been a crazy 2017 guys 2016 was probably one of my best years because i actually i hate bringing this up all the time but i had a relationship you know we all know that only for 10 months but that's majority of my 2016 though so Went from living in Paulding to Delta, being single for a bit until March came around. I met this wonderful girl at work. We hang out for a bit, and next thing you know, a month later, we uh, hit it off. Like it was, I mean, like awesome feeling. It was an awesome feeling. You know? Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> it was such an amazing time, though, to have that in your life, basically. And you know, being for having my first relationship up to 10 months, that's pretty damn long. That's longer than I thought. It's longer than a lot of people thought. And it was amazing 10 months, and I I would totally do it all over again, to be honest. I have another 10. But more than 10 months, you know. I want to go further than whoever I end up with, you know. Whatever girl I want, I want to you take. Let's make it longer than 10 months, basically. The person that I was with, I hope you're doing well out there. They awesome, also. They're a great person. I know we had a bickerments and all that, but it is what it is. The better. For the friends that I know that don't want me to not have contact with her whatsoever i'm sorry but that's not worked out for me especially when we her and i have basically looked past all the issues that have happened and basically we're kind of, it's kind of where we're starting to build our friends up i know that she, so what you know like eh, eh, issues eh, that's why but, eh. but trying to make her realize that not like the last set of people she was with because I am completely different. I am different. I don't tend to hurt anybody. I need to move this guy out of the way, guy. He's getting beaten up, Jesus. I'm sorry, jeez. But I'm. I can be the nicest guy you guys can ever meet, person. But or you don't know me. I'll be. I can be the nicest guy you ever meet in person. Just like how Jack in person. Uh, he's actually a nice guy. 
all those YouTubers that you can meet that you think, oh, they're douchey and all that. Like, no, they're not. They really aren't. They're human beings like you and I. They're not big old popular people like Hollywood. Like, they're like yeah, they go on and do special things and all that. But they're doing this like a job. And technically, it's kind of like a job. But they're human beings just like us. They're, they are nice. Yeah, you know, they can't respond to certain things like tweets or you or you try to comment on their live streams or not. They can't all they can't get to everybody because it's a lot. There was a lot of reading they had to go through, and there was times that they don't want to read a lot. You gotta understand that's a lot to read, and it's taking up their time. That what if they have other things to do? That yeah, you're not gonna be noticed. Don't get pissy about. It. Wait until the next time that and try to be you can try to be noticed and all at some point, but don't push it. Okay? These guys got a lot of things to do. I see it. I've been able to notice that and I've been noticing there's a lot of things I have noticed in YouTube now that I've been doing it. Comparing to people that have been doing it a lot more longer than I have. It's it's a heck of a thing to do, it's hard do but no it is what it is it's it's actually it's a very hard job thing to do and once it becomes a job it's a very hard job to keep up with and not basically because you, you got to make sure you got a schedule set time to do it how many of these videos you want to do during the day and so on and so forth you know you got to plan this stuff out you gotta make an agenda for yourself but if i was ever to get further into this if i'm gonna get further into this i'm gonna find me a one big old dry erase board and poof there's my agenda but as soon as like the big up as soon as i make my break you know but it's gonna be a hell of a ride then. until then no yeah no i'm gonna be people ask if i make money on this it's like yeah no not yet but i would like to at some point but not about the money so yeah i can yeah if i was able to hit 10,000 views accumulated monetizing yeah that helped my bank out helped me out financially and all that but i'm not too worried about that i just want to make sure my videos are good the content is great you guys are liking it all that stuff right now and when i hit that 10,000 at some point monet worrying about losing my monetization at that point will be a factor but I'm not worried. I'm just worried about make sure I don't get hit by a lot of copyright bull crap from YouTube to where you're like oh you're not gonna monetize now because this 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 you know I don't want that I'm trying to make sure everything is good that's why my Hooney Pop my latest two Hooney Pop videos have a lot of censoring in it but I don't understand why because it's going with YouTube regulation on the Adult content like nudity, uh, sexual con like uh, themes and all that, all that good stuff. There's certain things I can get away with, and all that, like hunting or you know talking dirty and all that, you know all that stuff. You know, like, like e e e e questionable, but you like me too. It doesn't hit YouTube regulations, and sometimes they can come in and like, oh, we gotta. This is gonna age restrict because of this and this and this because you didn't censor that or do something about this. You try that's why if you try to censor all that stuff on there and all that, they're not gonna come knocking on your YouTube channel door and be like, hey, you need to we're gonna age restrict your video because you got naked boobs and all that stuff on there. Put a big old censor bar it's like you put something funny on there, basically like like my road duck heath. I put in my sixth episode of Hoonie Pop for Kiana over her boobs because of side boob and all that, but still, you know, rubber duck goes right there and I quack quack away. <laughs> but, yeah. This is, like I said, it's not easy doing this, but it's not hard as well. It's fun, but it has its difficult moments. I understand where people like 
these people that have been around for so long are coming from to like Oh, your job. There, you tell them that. Oh, your job's easy, basically, because you only gotta do a sit in front of camera, play a game of blah. No, it's not. They gotta do a whole lot of other stuff after that. You gotta like edit, make sure it's all right, make sure the sound quality is great, make sure the pictures are good, make sure your editing with it matches up with what you want to edit, and basically, because you make a great, if you can do all that and make one hell of a video that way. You're gonna look. Your channel is gonna look great from there on out. I know my video, my first video, kind of, you know, it's iffy, but it got like 68 views on it, and people came around and like, oh wait, oh that's actually pretty good quality coming off a laptop. Still getting good quality coming off a laptop and all that, but it's on certain games. That's why I need a PC boat too soon because I got other games that I'm sitting on the side. I want to come on my channel, but I can't because this guy doesn't want. I don't want to freak, make the laptop freak out on it and all. You know, how much time I'm doing this? Yeah, that's not bad. Yes, that's my my laptop's in front of this because I made it easier to have this here, and I'm not worried about having this. Have this a little closer so you guys hear me. Not worried about hitting this all over the place when it's on its stand. Well. Stand set an arm, a scissor arm. See, nice old scissor arm here, guys. Nice old scissor arm that helps out a lot. Yeah, I've been able to get stuff like that though to help me out. Like that camera here has been around for a bit. My little U UPS uh, port been able to help. I got a sound adapter to use this microphone, this uh, scissor arm, all that good stuff, even the keyboard. An external keyboard, I, which I don't need because the laptop's got a keyboard, but I'd rather really use that one than anything. Ugh. Sorry. Friggin' trying to recover from cleaning the house a little bit. Yeah, about three, two hours of house cleaning and all that. House looks a little bit better than what it did, at least I found something. Speaking of change, and people, like I said earlier about people and changing and all that. Why change for this one person when everybody else knows who you are and they like the way you were, basically? Because when you change, the reason why I bring that is because when you change against people that know you, the world way and they like you the way you were who now they're like oh they don't like you this way because you're doing things that they don't want you to do because it's stupid it's like this stupid things but now you can change for better of good though for those people like hey you change they're doing better and all that yeah, that's a good change you know you don't want to change like hey stop doing that go back to the way you were you know you know what that because that's the way you lose people i'm not gonna i'm trying to be who i am basically for all you guys so that way i'm trying not to wean either because i'm not gonna do that fall asleep <laughs> no we don't want that only nine o'clock too geez i don't want that um only change when you know, it's for the better good. And sometimes there's some things you have to change to benefit you more than anything else, and people would have to deal with it, basically. Now, <laughs> speaking of changing, I'm not really going to drop certain people a certain person because why would i why should i be honest yeah but she, you know she's holding people think that i'm getting mentally abused and all and i'm like no i came to realize that it's not that's not the case. there's certain things i needed to act on sooner than acting later and getting like my 
Get in a hole in the tour and get my ass tore up and all that basically getting yelled at. You know. So I prevented that happening. But damn it. I was too stupid to do so. But at least I was able to do it regardless. So yeah. I'm not gonna stop her. I'm just gonna like, oh, I'm done talking. I'm not gonna do that. Why should I? She was just telling me, hey, you need to do this and all that. Or I'm gonna turn the water off on you. Or like, hey, you need to do this or this is gonna happen to you. And then it... I'm gonna do this so that way you will learn your lesson and all that. I already learned my lesson, so I don't have to worry about that. Move on from there. Be happy. I know it said some things to certain people at work that this and this and this happened, but as I look at it now, it's just it was silly. You know? It was my fault. I should have dealt with dealt that stuff sooner when I, would, when I had the ability to do so. So Those of you I was talking to and all that, and all that. Nonsense. Um, <laughs> that's not. It's mine. Cause I should act quicker. Stuff like that. I need to act quicker on stuff like that. To be honest, at any given time, regardless, because if you don't do that stuff, and it's gonna get you in trouble. And it's, that's what happened to me. I got in trouble. Uh, I got fixed, and everything's all good and dandy. She's not a heartless person, guys. She's not. She was just telling me that I need to do this now and avoid any more conflicting, conflicting things and all that. Any more issues. I don't want any more issues between her and I. I want, still want that friendship with her because it's... It's a keystone. It's a key part of my life, basically. It's having a friendship with. It's what I've been trying to prove here lately anymore. It's like you can still be friends with your ex. Even though when they say they don't want to be friends with your ex anymore, but they don't really tell you why. But you try to figure out, like, oh, maybe the other ex is probably like got angry at him and made him feel like crap and all that. And now they did just want to do anything with all of them this way you tell them though and say i'm not like them i would never treat you like that i have no reason to treat someone like that my ex like that now the way she was in on me about everything and all at all i deserved it because i didn't act on a lot of things that i should have now if i was ever to date someone else again and i had issues like that sorry like Small, like the minor issues that became major later on, uh, happen. Like I say, say minor. Act, I should act on. I'm gonna act on those quicker than normal, because they need to be dealt with as soon as possible, and not dealt with like, oh, no, they'll take care. I'll take care of it later when I can, and all that. And it's like, don't no, need to do it now. You need to get it done now. Well, like I say, guys, this is my all that, but jibberry. Dooby dooby. Hobbly booby. Ugh, that bull crap happened. All that bullshit happened. More of my fault. Don't go after her. She's not an enemy. She's not an enemy. She was just trying to get me straightened up. What it was. So I say to her, thank you for doing that, basically. I know it was in a harsh way, but it had to be done. So. That being said, but that's kind of part of my crazy six month, the part of the crazy six months of YouTube. Well, part of my crazy year of my life, uh, 2017. But yeah, but like I said, 2018 coming up soon. We're like, hmm, 
28 days away from New Year's Eve now, the last day of 2017. Have a whole fresh refresh on this of of a new year. But that's how I look at a new year. It's like hit that refresh button. Refresh your uh, clean slate, and let's see what happens this time around. You know? That's why I kind of like New Year's more than anything, because it's reset. Try, try again this year. Try doing better this year, you know. New Year's resolutions. Hmm. Well, we're not going to go on that topic yet. No, later on and all that. Maybe, I uh, know... I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm gonna try to celebrate my holiday. I'm gonna show my holiday spirit by uh, getting me a Santa Claus hat here. So, I'm gonna, like, be like all the other people that get, want to be holly jolly, put myself in the Santa Claus hat soon, too. So, I think this is all I have for this. So, I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you for, to my longest subscribers. Yeah, I know. You should know who you are. You guys been around for six months giving me the support. Thank you to all the subscribers that came along with them as well up to this point, basically. I want to thank you all so much for the support. And thank you for letting me be, you know, someone to entertain you guys through a video and, you know, like be jump scared or be funny, get that or do stupid things and all that basically or silly things i should say i want to thank you all for the lovely, wonderful six months they've been probably my most fun six months ever of doing this and those that have been that have been helping me you know be more happy and all that i want to thank you all for that as well I want to <laughs> you guys are so awesome I am grateful to have I know I only have 34 subscribers but I'm still grateful to have some anyway so thank you 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 I can't thank you guys enough to be honest so <laughs> if you did like this video and what's been said go ahead and like if you didn't there's a dislike button there you ain't gonna hurt my feelings if you hit that dislike button, okay? Because it's part of YouTube. What's been done is what's said is said. You guys get upset about what I said, then why? Why would you get upset about what I said? Tell me why in the comments. Um, make sure you subscribe and go on the next video on the screen near you. Stay toxic, my friends, and. Have a happy holidays.